In this video, we'll discuss solutions in Power Apps, and we do have two different type of solutions in the Power Apps. One is managed solutions, another one is unmanaged solutions. We'll discuss what is exactly the managed and unmanaged, and what is the difference between these two. So, to create a solution, we have to go to this Power Platform. So, when you open this make.powerapps.com. You can able to see the solutions in the left menu. So when you click the solutions, you can see this type of window. And if you if you go to here, you can able to see the solution new solution option. And we do have import solution. And um, so this is for app source. And uh, so we can see the publish all customizations. So before seeing these options, we'll try to create a new solution. So when we click this one, we can see a couple of options here. So one is the display name, display name of the solution and the name of the solution and then publisher and then version. If you go to more options, you can able to see like a, a installed on the date and the configuration page. So we don't have any configuration page created yet. And then description, now package type is unmanaged. So uh, as I said, we do have two types of uh, solutions in the package type. One is managed, another one is unmanaged. But uh, we can only able to see the unmanaged option when you are creating. So uh, to create a solution, first we have to give a name as, which is a demo solution I'm giving. So the publisher name, uh, if you click this one, you can able to see two uh, default uh, publishers. One is CDS default publisher, so which comes up with CR8F3B6. And this is another default publisher for the organization. So this is also. So the, the exactly the publisher, which means uh, who's going to uh, create this solution or who's going to publish this solution, that is called publisher. So. Uh, when when we are to, when we are developing any of the application we need to you know create the publisher name as well or you can use the existing one also uh, but what it indicates is it just indicates that who developed the app um, if we are working for an organization you can give an organization name or you can use the default one so i'm trying to create a new publisher here we have uh, properties uh, for this one, I'm just uh, giving that as Russian solutions as a display name and I'll copy this one and paste it here. And then description is always optional. The prefix is when you create any table or when you try to create any of the columns inside the table also, you'll see some prefix in, print, in front of the schema name or a logical name. So that is this one. So I'm just giving this as um, you know, if, if, if I try to enter one, I can able to see the prefix must be two to eight characters long. So I'm giving this one as uh, ITS. Um, okay, I'll make that a small letter, RITS. So this one, which is a choice value prefix. So which means, for example, if you try to create any choice columns inside this, um, inside this publisher and that, that choice columns uh, have this prefix in print in front of that that we'll see in the upcoming videos so if you want to modify you can able to modify and uh, which generates uh, based on the entry which uh, changes automatically and you can able to see the preview of the object name which is rits underscore object so this way the publisher will works if i click save and then the new publisher will create so it is done we don't have any issues now you can able to select the publisher so i'm selecting this Rishan solutions uh, publisher and uh, here so we'll discuss about this versions and this is a solution version and uh, when we are expecting this solution i'll show you how this actually this numbering will work we have 1.0.0.0 so why they have given this four digits here instead of like a, so when we work with any of the versions we can able to see like 1.0 2.0 3.0 but here we have 1.0.0.0 i'll explain uh, what uh, this four numbers indicates 
and uh, here which is installed on and the configuration page we don't have anything so if you click this one you can able to see none and the description is always optional and again uh, here when you when you create any solution any in any uh, any of your tenants you can able to see this is unmanaged when you are creating but when you are exporting you will get two options we'll create this one once we click create it will create a solution for us so once the solution is created now in the left menu you can able to see all and you can able to see apps we don't have any apps yet and uh, there is no chart bars yet and no cloud flows no flows are associated or created yet and no tables created here so to create anything in this solution you can able to see new option here when you click you can see this app you want to create a canvas app or you want to create a model driven app or you want to create a page you can able to create from here and when you click this automation you can able to see the cloud flows which are available and if you have an if you want to create any custom connector you can able to add or you want to create any desktop flow and you want to add it into this solution you can able and this is a process process advisor you can able to see action or business process flow or a workflow you want to add into this you can now here we have a chatbot as well we have a dashboard as well you can able to create a power bi report and also you can able to implement the security here and you can able to add the tables and we do have more options from here you can able to create a choice component library connection references and connection role environmental variable so this will be most important uh, this connection reference as well as this environmental environment variables so this too uh, will be helpful uh, when we are exporting this into another environment so we do have settings we do have different templates as well and we have a web, web resource option so when we are working with this model driven application this web resources will be more helpful to you know inject the client side code into the app and we do have other options and we have plenty of options here this will discuss in the upcoming videos now i'll just create one simple table here and this one uh, i'm trying to create a table as a temporary table in this and uh, when you go to this advanced uh, options now you can able to see the schema name the schema name prefix is rids which means this is a publisher name underscore temp table and we already discussed about uh, this table creations in the dataverse and when you create a table and this schema name is very important when you when you are doing any development and when you are calling this table from the code and this schema name or a logical name will be most important the display name anytime you can able to change but uh, this skin schema name only change when you are creating only and once you created this schema name will not change and uh, you can able to see we have four different type of tables standard activity virtual and elastic so this part will discuss in the other video and here the record ownership you can able to see organization or user user or a team and this one also we already discussed in the previous sessions and here we have a couple of options for the table but i'm not selecting anything i'm just keeping the default selections and i'm saving this table now the table is created and if you go back to this menu you can able to see this solution demo solution which we created and these are the objects and if you click overview you can able to see the overview of this demo solution and display name package type name publisher and created an and you can able to see the patch and now we are not run this solution checker yet and we'll see in the um, upcoming videos and here also you can able to see enable for so this is data was search and this is related to data was search and the recent items which we only created table here and uh, so if you if you click this history you can able to see the history of the uh, solution as well and uh, we just created and we don't have any history yet and this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos coming back to the pipelines so this pipelines help us to deploy the solutions into different environments 
So if you want to perform this ALM process, application lifecycle management process, so this pipeline will be helpful and this one also will discuss in the upcoming videos. I'm going back to the solution. Here I have this solution and I select this in the um, in the menu we can able to see this edit delete and export solution option and when you hit this export solution so very first time or you know next time when you open this export solution option you can able to see the publish all changes option if you if you click this one it will publish all the customizations which we did and then it will give us a option to export it it will take a couple of seconds and then uh, once all the customizations published then we'll have a, another window here to export into local system now it's published here we have an option name called next when we click this one now you can able to see two options here one is managed which is recommended and uh, you can able to see unmanaged so when when i'm trying to export by default it is selected as a managed because this managed solutions will help us to deploy the solutions into production or test environment or a uit environment so once you publish as a managed solution and when once you import there in the uh, uit or production environment end users will not get a edit option there so which means managed solutions are locked and which will not have any option to edit that and coming to the unmanaged solutions you can able to see this solutions this solution is moved to another development environment or source control which means so the definition wise the unmanaged solutions are not completely developed so uh, which is something like um, you know that is still under development or maybe you want to utilize the solutions to you know modify or to work in a different environment you have to make this as unmanaged solution so in the other environment also you can able to get an option to edit the solution now coming back to the this version number initially when i create this one the the version is 1.0.0 so when you when you when you go to this information you can able to see why these numbers are the first one is one is the major version number and the next number the second one which is this one which is a minor version inside the major version and the next one is the build version and the last one is the revision this one is the revision and then this one is the build version and uh, the second one is a minor version of this major version and the first one is the major version number so i'll keep 0.1 so this is a numbering format which is like the first one is major the second one is minor and the third one is a build and the last one is revision of that and when i click either if i select managed or if i select unmanaged once i click export it will export into your local system Now you can able to see currently exporting solution, which is demo solution. It will take a couple of seconds to export. Okay. Now you can able to see solution exported successfully. And then once I click download, now it is downloaded to local system. You can able to see this one demo solution and you can able to see the version and which is a managed. You can able to see this is showing which is managed dot zip and all the solutions when you export the extension of the solution would be dot zip. And once you want to import any solution into your solution gallery, you can able to see this import solution. And once you click this one, you'll get a window to select 
or you can you will get another button to browse from your local system and you can able to import into your local system so which is completely a manual process when you are exporting and when you are importing which is a manual process and uh, there is another approach also to automate the solution deployment into different environments that also will discuss in the upcoming videos